Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to configure a simple network using Cisco Roller and Switch. Here we are using a Cisco Packet Tracer activity uh, for configuring this simple uh, network. Friends, if you like to download this uh, Packet Tracer activity file, uh, you can go to our blog. Link I given in the description. And before coming to uh, our configuration, uh, dear friends, if you are watching my channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to your uh, subscribe button uh, so that uh, you will get notification message whenever I upload uh, a new video. Right, here we can see our topology. Also, we can see our addressing table. Now we will go through our objectives of this packet tracer activity. Uh, in part 1, uh, we will connect devices as per the topology. In part 2, basic configuration of devices. In part 3, assign IP address to PCs. Then in part 4, test and verify network connectivity. We will go to part 1, connect devices as per the topology. So here we can see in our topology, all these devices are connected. And here mentioned the ports. Right. So from R1 G0 slash 0 to S1 G0 slash 1. Coming to connections. We'll take this uh, copper straight through cable. Then coming to R1 G0 slash 0 to S1 G0 slash 1. And here we can see completion status. It's a 10. It's correct. Next is from uh, S1 FA0 slash 1 to PCA. We will do that from S1 FA0 slash 1 to this PCA. Then from S1 FA0 slash 2 to PCB. FA0 slash 2 to this PCB. Our completion status should be 30 percentage. Here we can see it's correct. Now we will move to part 2, basic configuration of devices. Step 1, router basic configuration. First of all, we will configure our router uh, with these requirements. Okay, we will do it one by one. Coming to our router R1, CLI, press the return to get started. Okay. First of all, we have to set the host name. Uh, as R1 enable configure terminal we will set the host name as R1 next one is a secret password we have to set as Cisco we have to give the command enable secret password as Cisco next is uh, all lines password we have to uh, give us a tech card right so uh, line console as well as line vty we will do that first of all we will set line console password we will go to line console 0 and we will set the password as specified it's tech card then we will give the login command we will exit and we will go to line vty we will set a password for all the lines from 0 to 15 password as tech acad next is MOTD banner uh, we have to set as warning we can do that we have to give a banner MO oh, we are in line mode so we will exit from here then we will give banner MOTD then we will give the message with delimiter here we will use the delimiter as dollar symbol then our message also we will end with the same delimiter what we started yes our message of the day is ready now we will go to the next that is encrypt all clear text password we can do that we have to give the command service password encryption then press enter here we can see our completion status uh, shows 47 
uh, but here we can see it shows 45 but uh, it should be 47 right next is configure addressing for a gigabit ethernet zero slash zero according to the addressing table coming to our addressing table uh, here we can see the device router uh, interface uh, g0 slash zero here we can see the ip address and submit to mask uh, we will uh, configure uh, this coming to the configuration we will go to that interface its interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero we will set the ip address it's 172.16.1.1 then the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 then we have we will activate this interface by giving this command no shutdown here we can see now this uh, link is up right next is a save configurations for that we have to go to privileged exit mode we will press ctrl z and press enter here we can uh, give the command uh, copy running config startup config press enter destination file name startup config ok we will give this a default file name so press enter here once we complete uh, step 1 in part 2 uh, we can see the completion status should be uh, 57 uh, it's correct so we are going in the correct direction now we will go to uh, step 2 switch basic configuration now we are going to configure our switch we will uh, close this R1 and here we can see our uh, switch right we will go one by one we'll go to CLI first one is uh, we have to set the host name as s1 enable configure terminal here we will set the host name as s1 next we have to enable the secret password as Cisco coming to the configuration enable secret a specified Cisco next is uh, all lines passwords we have to set as a tech account. okay coming to the configuration we will go to line console 0 we will set the password as a tech account. then we will give it the command login we will exit and we will go to the next line that is vty and we will give the lines from 0 to 15 that is all the lines we will set the password as a tech account. next is encrypt before that we have a MOTD banner message of the day uh, as a warning we will set that we will exit then we will give the command banner MOTD message of the day we will give us warning next is encrypt all clear text password for that we have to give service password encryption now we will configure addressing for VLAN 1 according to the addressing table so here we can see the details yes one VLAN 1 here we can see the IP address submit to mask coming to the configuration we will go to the interface VLAN 1 we will set the IP address as specified 172.16.1.254 it's 1.254 then we will set the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 then we will give no shutdown command we will verify the completion status now 82 Yes, it's correct. Finally, we will uh, save the configurations from RAM to NVRAM. We will uh, move to privileged exit mode. End. And here we will give a copy running config, startup config. 
we are configuring correctly completion status uh, 85 percentage yes now we will move to part 3 assign IP address to PCs so here we can see PCA and PCB assign IP address to PCs such as PCA and PCB according to the addressing table we will set this IP address uh, for this uh, PCA and PCB here we can see the address 172.16.1.10 also we can see the default gateway just I will copy this address coming to PCA desktop IP configuration here we will give the IP address and the submit to mask it's 255.255.255.0 then the default gateway here is that now we will go to PCB desktop IP configuration it's 1.11 then uh, submit to mask here it is then coming to the default gateway it's 1.1 So now the completion status should be 100 percentage. Here we can see it's 100 percentage. We completed all the configurations successfully. Now we will go to part 4 and test and verify network connectivity. Here we are going to verify the network connectivity. We will ping from PCA to PCB or from PCA to S1 or PCA to R1 or whatever possibility is available. We will go to our PCA, then we will ping to our PCB. Coming to command prompt, here we will give a ping 192, no, it's 172.16.1.11. It's working. Now we will ping from PCA to uh, the switch S1. Here, ping 172.16. It's working. Now we will ping to our router R1. It's 1.1. It's working. Great. That's all. Configuring a simple network uh, using Cisco router and uh, switch uh, with our packet tracer. Dear friends, as I told in the beginning, uh, if you like to get this packet tracer activity, you can download it. Just visit our blog. The link I given in the description, uh, so you can download it from there. Also, I given the link to uh, follow us uh, on Facebook. Next video, we will see how to configure a multiple network uh, using a Cisco router and how it works. So just stay tuned. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.